oh, we got another Karen, right? Another Karen. But this is a funny one. I, I don't really like the ones where they try and end the, the person's career or they try and essentially, you know, yeah, get them fired from their job. It's just, just a, more, a funnier one. Um, Karens, the Karens that get involved, the Karens are, um, not the Karens that are like, you know, racist. This is like, there's some mild, um, what do you call it? Xenophobia in terms of like, go back from where you're from and all that sort of stuff. But people love saying, people just say that just so they can get under your skin. I don't think they're genuinely racist, right? I don't, I don't think, I would, I'd imagine they wouldn't be, right? I don't think they'll be that dumb to be that racist in front of the camera. I just think they want to just hurt the person's feelings, get, you know, kind of prod away and, you know, get them triggered so that they hit them or something so that they can scream bloody murder. But, um, I always find that the Karen that sort of like, you know, tells somebody to not do something, right? The sort of like policing of actions or policing of behavior Karen to be the most egregious and the most annoying. Like, why can't you just mind your damn business? Why do you need to speak? Why are you even speaking to me? And as well, there's this assumption, it's sort of an arrogant point of view, right? To assume that whatever you say, I'm going to listen to it is nuts. And also it's really reckless because it's as if these Karens don't think especially these um pulling you up for your behavior karens they have no they have no um doubt in their mind the interaction is going to go exactly as they please right they have no idea that an interaction requires two people and you cannot um estimate or you cannot um, account for how the other person will react right um who's to say that you know the person that you try and pull up for their behavior hasn't got a bloody blade in their back pocket and they might just, you know, slice the front of your face and open it up like a bloody mushroom. You, you, you have no idea. But yet they're so confident to kind of come up to people and speak, especially younger people. It's just a bizarre way to go around things. And there's no winning, especially if you pull up a younger person because they're ready to snap. They're ready to go at you. They're ready to insult you, ridicule you, make you like a fool. And it's just really unfortunate because we should be respecting our elders, right? We should be in a place where we kind of, you know, are seeking wisdom and enlightenment and kind of direction in life from our elders, right? Because they've been alive longer than us. They should have picked up some pearls, some wisdom, some jewels here and there that they can bestow upon us. But instead, Instead, we're having to ridicule them and record our interactions with these older folk and post them on TikTok. It's sad. It's so sad. And this is a good example of such occasion. Where's the lady? Here she is raging with a couple of 16 year olds. I don't know how old they are, but it's like, come on, lady, go home to your family, man. What are you doing, woman? But these people are psychotic. So I guess what can you do if you don't have a family? You go and rage at younger kids in the park and you complain that they're picking up berries. Come on, let's load. Come on, brother. Oh, what is it doing? It's not loading. Come on, load. I gave it a big instruction. Now it's not loading anymore. Ugh. Okay, let's escape. Let's try another one. There we go. One more second. Bear with me. Oh, that's why. Is that that's why? No, it's not. That's not why. Let's see if it loads up now. Come on, son. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Load up if you don't mind. Oh, it's taking a while. Come on, you absolute nutcase. Let's go. Nothing's happening still, it's still loading. Maybe this is Karen Internet, isn't it? When you try and connect to Karen Internet, it just lets you down. I'm not too sure. Come on. I want to show this video for goodness sake. There you go. It's loading now. Okay. Let's get up on the screen here. Maybe I should have just preloaded it prior, but hey, we are where we are. It's slowing down. It's not giving me a chance to move. Let's just take some of this stuff off the screen so I can speak to you guys clearly. Okay, there you go. Is it loading now? Cool. Boom. We got it. We got it. So here she is. Blueberry Karen, right? Blueberry Karen. We're not, we're not wrecking it. it. There's literally oh so many berries everywhere. Oh my God, we're not wrecking it. Oh, there's so many berries out here. There's so many berries. <laughs> That's like a form of embarrassment, right? That's when you're embarrassed and you feel like you're losing the argument. She's like, you know, she starts wailing her hands in there and trying to be mocking or condescending. But really, it's like a weird micro reaction that you do when you feel like you've kind of lost 
the argument. It's sort of like when you inflect your voice, like, oh, am I hurting your feelings? Your, your feelings have been hurt, right? You're the one that is actually feeling as if you've been aggrieved. You're the one that's brewing inside. You're the one that's considering stubbing that guy, that girl's eye with a pencil that you have in your back pocket because you use it to take the marking down of trees and note how many leaves are on the, are on the grass as you're walking past it. Um, but yeah, it's just a sad existence, isn't it? And they're always the same looking kind of people, aren't they, right? Um, entirely sexless. They've sort of like abandoned any idea of a pe- of kind of looking after themselves. This woman's skinny, but, you know, she just doesn't look like she's, you know, takes any pleasure in giving herself a treat in sort of looking after her body, her insides, her hair, her face, her hands, nothing. It's just, you know, you're just a, you're just a sack of meat and bones, right? Twaddling around the forest trying to get your... Your hike on, and you you'd imagine being that connected to nature that you would be you know the furthest away from trying to enact in some sort of conflict right you wouldn't want to have any kind of confrontation you'd want to enjoy the place you're in you want to you know look at this marvelous god's creation right stand on the ground pick up a bit of gravel have it you know kind of cascade through the your fingertips as you wonder and marvel at the fact that wow this place is like my back garden i have the pleasure of walking around this amazing hillside right in some cases some people would say i'm privileged that i have the ability to walk around in this amazing place with my dad shorts on and my little frumpy pink top that i picked up from a charity shop somewhere because i'm too cheap to buy new stuff because what's the point of living you would expect that but no I'm going to pull up a couple of 16 year olds out picking up berries. Because we wanted to eat some berries. <laughs> you want, just don't take the bush with you. I'm it's sorry, not the bush, it's literally a, it's a tiny brand. And you pause it. So she says, oh, don't take the blue, blue take the blueberry, just say the, don't take the bush with you. Then you turn around and you think, okay, cool. When we see the picture of the bush, we're going to see some girl like, you know, with like, I don't know, a bin bag full of berries. Fair enough. Even, and again, still in that case, I would not say nothing. It's not my business. If anything, right? Again, I'm not that person. I'm not a snitch. If you're that concerned, the most you would do, you'd pull them up. And then if they didn't know, you wouldn't pull them up. You you take note of who they were. And then you'd ring your local, I don't know, park ranger or whatever it may be. And let them know, hey, heads up, a group of girls came in there and essentially cleaned out all the blueberries from this particular section, just giving you a heads up and letting you guys know. But you wouldn't you wouldn't bloody call them up and be like, by the way, guys, I just saw two young girls wearing Lululemon pants and they took all the berries. And I'm upset. You wouldn't. You're just like, hey, the berries are all gone. You know, f- re-up on the berries. I don't know. That's what you do. You wouldn't bloody go and try and you know, engage in some sort of argument and conflict. And maybe it's a maybe it's a woman thing. It's a female thing because there is never a threat of violence in these interactions, right? Women never have that, right? It's, there's never a threat. There's never the, the threat that this could go really far. With men, when you get involved in an interaction or an argument or a confrontation, there is that thing in the back of your head where you're thinking, hey, if I say the wrong thing or if I act a bit too cute, right? If I get to a bit too comfortable and if I feel too at ease, this guy could jab my face back into the ground it's not worth it so you step back a bit right you try and you try and make sure you've got a decent amount of reach so if this guy tries to hit you with the overhand right you can lean back and bang hit him with the overhand right but hey what do i know of berries. why don't you mind your own business why don't you mind your own business look look you know that is the fucking rudest thing you've said to me <laughs> that's like a teacher when they come in you know what and they kind of walk over with their hands on their hips to try and make it you remember when you were younger that they used to be intimidating when a teacher would kind of walk over to you like rushing and be like looking in your eyes mr singer what you said to me was say like, come on get out of here man relax take it easy i'm tired ty- i'm 10 years old what i say shouldn't affect you or make you cry woman get a grip Go buy a dog Oh, oh, here she goes. What do you come from? Are you fucking colonizer? <laughs> These guys are good. No, I'm not. Okay. Yeah. You see how concerned she got when, when she thought they might be <laughs> native. <laughs> are you colonizers? I'm so sorry. She would have knelt down. She would have given them her bloody crappy Nike 3.0s. Oh. You're a colonizer. You're, you're where did you come from? Yeah, where did you come from? Where did you come from? I'm actually curious. Where did you come from? US. US? Oh, yeah. Oh, so you're not so even you're from not here. Canadian either. Yeah, I am. Mm. Oh, 
Oh, so, but we are Canadian too. I was born here. I was born here too. Okay. Were you born Arguing here? with two teenage girls is no. so long. Okay, so They're killing actually, them. Like, I was born here and you're not even born here and you're telling me to go back to wherever. Your grandparents weren't either. That's the thing. That's what you know you've lost a fight. Every Karen does that when they've lost a fight, in it? The universal crossing of the arms. Like, huh, you guys, look at you. How dare you? You know what I mean? Like, that's the international I've lost. <laughs> born here? No. I know. This is so good. Oh, yeah. I am getting a reaction out of you too, yeah. aren't I? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Start with that. Oh, I don't know, man. And as well, even the young girls, go home. Everyone go home. Why are you wasting your time arguing in the bloody forest so americans have such a nice landscape right you have this beautiful um i think mid, mid, let's say there might be canadians right you have this amazing forest behind you right that you can generally you know where we have hikes my hike is like once it flats right <laughs> you walk through a bit a few puddles um a labrador comes next to you and starts rubbing up against your leg you have bird crap all over your dms that's not a hike but americans have this lovely lovely landscape all this amazing greenery right pine woods forest you know great bloody trees trails and here they are arguing over blueberries with everything that's going on in the world man god damn you guys get a grip